Like this video and subscribe to the channel right now and get one week of amazing luck. You may have observed a variety of actions taken in the name of science. In order to provide food for a growing global population or medicines and treatments for illness and disease, scientists put in a lot of effort. And today we're going to show you some of the wackiest hybrids that scientists have created, making you think they don't actually exist. Here are the hybrid animals created by scientists you won't believe exist. Sterile Pink Ball Worm The pink ball worm is a serious pet for cotton growers because not only do they harm the plant by eating it, but they also eat cotton lint to get at the seeds, making them a serious pet. The harm is doubled because cotton is used for both fiber and oil. Although this bug was initially noted in India in 1842, it has subsequently migrated to other nations that produce cotton, where it is responsible for up to 25% of annual losses. Controlling the damaged areas and the quarantine helps stop the spread of the insect. In 1996, after releasing modified cotton that produces insecticidal proteins, they revolutionized the control of pink ballworms. Blowfish. Blowfish is a fluorescent fish created through genetic engineering. The zebrafish, with its rainbow of hues, was the first of its kind to enter the market. All blowfish are domesticated, and natural breeding gives them their color. When bred in captivity, the average animal is 1.6 inches long, depending on the species. They take care to keep this fish in an aquarium with a water capacity of between 5 and 20 gallons. It is recommended that water circulate moderately and that oxygen levels match those in the species' native habitat. Zo. The zo is a cross between yaks and domestic cattle. The species is common in Tibet and Mongolia, where they are esteemed for their ability to produce both meat and milk. This animal is an illustration of the genetic phenomena known as hybrid vigor, in which the offspring is more powerful and substantial than its parents. Males retain their original names, but females are referred to as disimo. While the men are sterile, the ladies are fertile. The drizzle weighs roughly 1,300 pounds and can grow up to 5.5 feet tall. It has a huge, disease-resistant body and a hump on its back. Koi Wolf Despite their 200,000 years of evolutionary separation, coyotes and wolves can still mate and give birth to koi wolves. This hybrid animal exhibits many traits from both parents, and when fully grown, it is somewhere between a coyote and a wolf in size. Coyotes were initially bred with wolves in Vermont in the 1940s. Currently, hybrid coyotes are less common. From the south to the east, the mix changes. When wolf numbers in the Great Lakes were so low that females couldn't find males to mate with, this breed gained popularity around a century ago. They finally decided on a coyote. Grolar Bear The Grolar Bear, also known as the Pisley Bear, is a unique hybrid bear that is a member of the Ursa family. For ages, First Nation cultures in North America have shared stories about this animal. Although nothing is known about the Grolar bear's physical characteristics, we do know that it is fertile. However, it was not until DNA samples were taken from the bear in 2016 that its existence was confirmed. They exhibit certain polar bear-like hunting traits, according to scientists who have studied them in captivity, and they also have inferior swimming abilities. The number of chromosomes in each species determines how they reproduce. Beefalo the beefalo is a fertile cross between domestic cattle and American bison, it should have characteristics of both animals while producing more beef. In terms of genetics and appearance, beefaloes resemble cattle. Additionally, there are variations with higher bison genetics. These animals are referred to as bison hybrids. The survival of American bison is in danger from this species. Regrettably, the majority of buffalo herds are genetically contaminated or have crossed partially with cattle. This beast can quickly deplete water supplies because it can drink up to 10 gallons of water while thirsty. The ground is barren due to their ravenous appetites and frequent dust showers. Jag Lions Jag Lions are enormous, uncommon hybrid cats. Only two of them have ever been born, they go by the names Tsunami and Jazera and are the offspring of a male jaguar and a female lion. They were born on April 9, 2006. They were grown in the same Canadian province of Ontario Zoo. These animals appear to be gentle giants in photographs of them. 
You may probably anticipate that there are domesticated lions and jaguars since they were born in confinement. Before this century, the Jagillion breed was not well known to the world, but like most carnivores, they are passionate hunters and developed to an average weight of the weight of both parents. Super Cows Cattle of the mutant breed known as the Belgian Super Cow. It has its origins in the 1800s when farmers and scientists in Belgium sought to cross short-horned cattle with native cattle. Breeders eventually bred together the biggest and sturdiest animals of each species. Super cows are advantageous for developing nations where cattle and agriculture are methods of escaping poverty. Zorse, one of the weirdest artificially made animals is this hybrid. They initially appear to be horses, but upon closer inspection, one begins to question why the horse is stripped. This creature is the outcome of mating a male zebra with a female horse. The new animal is immune to some pests and diseases thanks to zebra genes. In terms of appearance, personality, and color, the Zorse is similar to a horse. Short in course, it fluctuates in color from black to brown. These hardy animals can endure harsh environments. Unlike some hybrid animals, they can hardly find a fully wild source that occurs without human intervention. This rare breed is native to Asia and parts of Europe. Nearly all of them are found in zoos or animal institutes. Transparent Frog Consider what you would think of a transparent fish and how it would feel to examine a frog's internal organs while seeing through its skin. To prevent the dissection of frogs for medical research, Japanese scientists have developed a transparent fish. Their heartbeat, digestive tract bones, and blood arteries are all visible from the outside. The humid cloud forests of Southern and Central America are home to these translucent frogs. If this is your fear, you shouldn't be alarmed, one wonders if this animal wouldn't make an easy meal for predators. They are experts at camouflaging, as seen by the fact that their legs blend in with the brightness of their bodies and protect them from harm. Zebroid. A zebroid is a hybrid between a zebra and other equine family members. In most cases, the sire is a zebra stallion while the mother could be anyone. Although they're called zebroids, the specific name for the breed depends on who the mother is. The subsequent hybrids of this animal are called zones, zonkeys, zorses and zionks, all of which have unique zebra stripes. Zebroids are better than zebras for riding because they have different body shapes. However, they're prone to being more temperamental than purebred horses and are difficult to handle. Narluga. The only members of the Monodatidae family are narwhals and beluga whales, both of which are comparable in size. Although narwhals are a rare species, there have been reports of recent sightings in the North Atlantic, beluga whales adopting lost narwhals in Canadian seas, which explains why it is very simple to breed both animals. The narwhal is the largest and heaviest species on our list, unlike belugas, who have 40 teeth, they have nearly no teeth and rely on suction to feed. The newly discovered creature has 18 teeth at the front of its mouth. It is challenging for researchers to analyze the parents' sexual lives because they spend the majority of their time on packed sea ice. Liger. A male lion and a tigress were crossed to create the liger. The animal is therefore a hybrid of two species belonging to a distinct genus. It is bigger than any other known existing cat and differs from the titan. Ligers enjoy swimming despite the fact that it is a tiger trait, and they are gregarious like lions. Since their parental species habitats do not overlap in the wild, you can locate them there. There are speculations that this hybrid lived in an environment where lions and tigers' habitats coexisted in antiquity. Tigers are as big as their female counterparts, but their offspring are even bigger than their parents. Human-dog hybrid. Have scientists gone too far? What are the implications of new frontiers in genetics? One horrific answer appeared recently in a widely circulated story, Israeli scientists are examining what appears to be a trans species between a Labrador retriever and a human. While genetically considered impossible, humane workers found remains of an earlier trans species, believed to be the parent of the animal pictured above, shallow buried in the owner's property. The human parent of the animals is believed to be the teenaged son of the family well known in politics. This photo, circulated widely on the internet by bloggers and in emails, was said to depict a real human-dog hybrid. It in fact is a picture of a sculpture by artist Patricia Piccinini, from her 2003 exhibition We Are Family. Cheeto. 
The first known Cheeto was born in 2001. This cross was made possible after a breeder thought he could create a feline that displayed the physical characteristics of a wild cat and the gentleness of a domestic cat. He succeeded and the result is a stunning animal that looks like a miniature leopard and cheetah. It has spots on its skin ranging from gold brown and cinnamon. Cheeto are one of the largest breeds of domestic cats and are rare. They weigh over 20 pounds, since they're decades apart from their ancestors. They depend on high-quality cat food and don't have any special dietary requirements. Chigeon or Pickens Ever pondered the result of crossing a chicken with a pigeon? As the question's title suggests, the solution is to choose either chigeons or pickens for the sake of this video. I'll continue to use chigeon since it sounds better. The name chigeon isn't just the creature's parents' names put together. The phrase, which literally means half a chicken has a pigeon, is of Latin origin. Some civilizations consider these creatures to be mystical since they have existed for a very long time. They assert that anyone who witnesses these animals will become blind. However, in the 1970s the first set of chickens was bred by a couple who thought, if funny, to mate a chicken with their pet pigeon named Carlos. The couple was reportedly under the influence of some substance which explains a lot. Carlos the pigeon had three babies, which the unnamed couple called Chigeon. Holfen. A vulpin, or should I say the holfen is the offspring created by crossbreeding of a bottlenose dolphin and false killer whale. These creatures are so rare only two of them exist in the world today, unlike some of the hybrids in this video. The Holfen isn't a creation of a science experiment or drunk couples, but a testament of love between both parent animals. Tanoani, a male killer whale, and Puna Hill, a female bottlenose dolphin, shared the same enclosure at Sea Life Park Honolulu where they became the unlikeliest of couples. An average false killer whale measures about 20 feet long and weighs 3,000 pounds, while a female bottlenose weighs within the range of 330 to 440 pounds and is 6 to 12 feet long. So you see why these two aren't particularly the best suited couple. Although they've been known to swim together in the seas, the result of their rare love affair is a holfen named Kiki Amalu, the first known living hybrid of both species. Although most animal hybrids are born sterile and with numerous reproduction defects or don't survive all Kikimalu amazed her caregivers by reaching full maturity and being fertile. Kiki Amalu combines the features of her parents she has whale eyes and has a body size that is in between that of the killer whale and bottlenose dolphin. Kiki Amalu also possesses 66 teeth, which is the average number of teeth her parents. She had two babies of her own but quite tragically lost both due to what research proved to be her sexual immaturity.